At the start of the month, Sacramento County went all out, encouraging everyone to move businesses to the less restrictive COVID-19 tier by Halloween. But ultimately, the Turn Sacramento Orange campaign likely fell short. Sacramento County Public Health Officer Dr. Olivia Kassiri explains. I think it's less and less likely, um, especially looking at the numbers and our positivity rate has also plateaued. So it does look as if we've hit a little bit of a snag. We needed them to be on a steady decline in order to meet the criteria for the orange tier. Currently, Sacramento County is averaging 4.4 cases per 100,000 residents. The county needs to be below four cases to advance to the orange tier. It appears that most of this is from a couple of outbreaks that we have noticed within uh, long-term care facilities. Is it fair that those are isolated and, and, and arguably like self-contained increases within a, within a specific population and not really reflective of the entire county? In a way they are reflective because the reason that we get the introduction of COVID in some of these facilities is from the different people uh, who work there, the employees and volunteers. So, and of course they are living in the community. So um, there is a connection there. As far as surrounding counties are concerned, Yolo County can move to the orange tier in as little as two weeks. El Dorado County can move to the yellow minimal tier as early as next week. And the same goes for Placer County. However, San Joaquin County does not expect to advance anytime soon. As for Sacramento, don't throw away those pumpkin face mask flyers just yet. If we don't advance the less restrictive tier by tomorrow, will we have an opportunity next Tuesday? Absolutely. We're still moving forward. Vicki Gonzalez, KCRA 3 